Joined now by Denny Hamlin, driver of the number 11 FedEx Ground Toyota Camry for Joe Gibbs Racing. Denny finished second today here at Phoenix International Raceway. Denny, can you tell us about that wild finish? Who won the race? I mean the fight. <laughs> Anybody know? No one knows who won? Jackson, who had the best hit? Uh, oh. Boyer was fast nice. Yes. Nice. Yeah, that's the most workout Boyer's had in years. <laughs> Can you describe your run that you had out there today in, in, in the uh, Treacherous. Midst of all that? The, the racetrack is extremely treacherous. You can't, uh, you know, with these hard tires, you just can't get a grip on the racetrack. Um, and so I did a tire test with Goodyear here uh, not too long ago on 2013 car. And I think they got some ideas that's going to make it a little bit better. Um, but, uh, right now holy cow it's a it's a mess and so what's happening is everyone's just sliding around and sliding into each other and of course it makes for you know, excitement uh, on tv but uh, obviously there it also makes for championship implications as well we're going to open the floor up now for questions if you have a question for denny hammond please raise your hand let's go to tommy denny tom jensen speed.com did you see the uh the Danica crash at the end, and should the yellow have come out? Well, I'm 50-50 on that. The 29 almost wrecked coming to the line, and uh, that would have – now I would have said no, but we almost wrecked too. So, I mean, it was a – there was a lot of stuff on the racetrack. I mean, we – that's why that wreck happened on the front stretch is there was oil all over it, and, I mean, uh, Ray Charles could see that. So, it was a um, – it was just a judgment call, I guess. Any more questions here in the media center? We do have a question in the press box. Go ahead, press box. Uh, two questions for for Danny. Um, Wolfgang Munzer from Germany, Rangeport Press Agency. Number one, how identical is the setup to your car to Kyle's car? And number two, you raced here earlier at Phoenix International Raceway. Is there any similarities? You go with a, a similar setup, or is it a totally different now later in the year um, our my setup uh, from the beginning of the year was relatively the same but uh, the, the 18 car seemed to have a, a better car for the short run and we obviously seem to have a better car for the long run and uh, what that uh, we just never had the long run uh, if it would have went green there was about uh, with about 25 to go I started reeling in the 18 again and uh, I thought it was pretty much gonna be our race to, to lose at that point um, but I mean, who knows what would have happened, but, uh, you know, obviously it didn't go green and uh, had a bunch of cautions, and then it was all about just whoever lined up in the right line. Do we have any more questions here in the media center for Denny? Denny, thank you for joining us here today, and we'll see you next week in Homestead, Miami Speedway. All right, thank you. Kyle Busch, driver of the number 18 M&M's Toyota Camry for Joe Gibbs Racing. Kyle, can you talk about uh, the car you had today? It was really dominant. and uh, uh. Yeah, great car. M&M's guys gave me uh, an awesome piece, and uh, unfortunately there I gave the race away. So, um, you know, just I hate it for my guys, and they worked so hard, and they dug hard this weekend. And obviously having the car that's the class of the field, you, you expect to win, and you're supposed to win. But, um, you know, I guess I just didn't, uh, didn't know how to win it today. Okay, we'll open up the floor for questions here. If you have a question, please raise your hand. State your name and affiliation. Any questions from the media center? Do we have any questions in the press box? Jenna? Two final questions there. I guess on the one did they call it, was it correct? Did you guys m not make it to the line before the white? And then on the second one, on the, should, should the caution have been called there on the last one? Um, I would say that Harvick, I saw the yellow lights flickering before Harvick got to the start finish line. So I believe they called it right. And um, there on that last one, I mean, you know, there was um, oil and everything on the exit of turn four and we all about well, the front of us about crashed, so I can't imagine what was going on behind me, but uh, evidently there was more carnage going on back there. So not sure if they had time to react to all that, um, but, 
granite, you would expect that they would see all of that and see the oil slick. I mean, it wasn't small by any means. It was three feet wide. Any more questions for Kyle? Kyle, thanks for joining us today.